Hey everybody, what's going on? My name's Badfish and welcome back to the beautiful city of Acadia. If you're new here, Acadia is my ongoing city skylines project based off of New England, so welcome. Um, but today, guys, I am starting the episode off a little different than usual, so we're not right in the middle of the time lapse right now. I am starting off with a bit of a live play just to show you uh, the little bit of work I've been doing and give you kind of an idea of what the map's been looking like as everybody's getting demolished by cars over here. Uh, so let's go take a quick look. So we are in the city of Brookline. Once again, I have added quite a few things to uh, kind of the center of the city here. So if you remember last episode, I showed it. Basically, all of this was blank. Um, there wasn't really anything here. I just decided to fill it in, kind of fill into the highway a little bit. So we have our bridges going across. We got just some more housing right in the middle here. And then, of course, I just kind of put the forest right in the middle of the little bit of sunken highway that we got going on here. Um, but today, guys, what we're going to be doing just to kind of show you here on the map is I did change around kind of the road layout over on this side. I also added a lot of pedestrian pathing on through, uh, but we're gonna build a big neighborhood through here and we're actually going to be trying to do like a little Italy kind of thing. Uh, I found a little Italy uh, pack on the workshop of like different buildings and stuff. So I'm gonna, um, you know, I'll let you guys know in the, the ending live play what those are but we're gonna try to build that out kind of make a cool little like festival inside the neighborhood as well uh so kind of going off the theme of the you know the state fair we built over here we're gonna kind of do a little festival i got some cool stuff for that and some cool like landmarks to throw in this neighborhood so we are gonna jump into that guys so i'm gonna start the time lapse for you now but if you enjoy the episode definitely leave a like that helps me a ton get my episodes to new people and things like that it helps grow the channel of course and if you are new and you end up enjoying what you're seeing definitely subscribe we typically do at least one build a week and we got some cool stuff going on here so there's the city for now guys we'll start building i'll see you on the other side So to start out the build here, guys, we're just going to kind of build out the main neighborhood section. So just kind of where I want kind of the little Italy themed buildings to be. And uh, you'll see we're going to kind of do a really cool uh, bit of detailing at the end here to really make these pop. Um, but I'm kind of mixing them with the New England townhouses as well as some of the Brooklyn style pack, which I used a lot in San Pedro. It's going to be making some appearances here in Acadia as well. Um, but the pack itself, it's called the Little Italy Pack by Gilded Age on the workshop if you wanna check it out. So we're just gonna kinda start building out these neighborhoods here. I am gonna do a cut in just a minute uh, to where I kinda have it a little more filled in. It is a little boring just watching building after building after building. So we're gonna kinda skip ahead to a little bit more of detailing in just a second. But I did want you guys just kinda get a idea of how I'm building things over here and kinda filling things in. So. I'm also just adding little bits of functional detail to the neighborhood as well. So we'll kind of scatter around parking lots. As I've said in plenty of my builds before, especially when you're building in an American theme, parking mm -hmm. lots are key. We love our parking lots down here. I uh, don't know why. So I just try to add in a few of those for little bits of detail here and there. And we're going to fill in kind of the back end of this neighborhood with some cool stuff as well. Um, what I'm trying to work on that I didn't do as much as San Pedro, but I am trying to do it with Acadia is kind of make the neighborhoods have unique uh, bits to them. Just like very easily identifiable um, things within the neighborhood that like, oh, if you go to that neighborhood, it's because it has X or Y. Um, so right now for this neighborhood, a little identifying spot that I wanted to do is build out this kind of um, skate park in the background here. So I wanted to have it where people could come in and uh, skate around, you know, just something to have fun with. I found the pack right on the workshop and I think it ended up being a cool little bit of detailing. It does take a little bit to build out. I am not a skater, so I don't know fully exactly how like these quarter pipes and stuff are actually supposed to be laid out, but I did my best. And I think we ended up with a pretty solid uh, ending product by the end of the episode here today. So we're going to do a, a quick cut here ahead to when I kind of have everything placed down where I want it. And that's pretty much just going to be the skate park. I didn't do a ton of extra detailing or anything like that. Just kind of a concrete slab with some different quarter pipes and stuff for people to hang out on. 
I did put like some water fountains and a trash can down and we'll put some graffiti on the other side of this building just because it was a big blank white wall and that was bothering me a little bit. So we'll just add a couple bits of graffiti there. And now um, what we're gonna start doing as I just filmed this little bit of uh, concrete here is we are gonna start working on the church over here. So I did want to have a churchyard in the Little Italy section. Obviously, if you've ever been to like the North End or to any kind of like uh, <laughs> Little Italy and cities, they typically do have, uh, you know, churches around. Catholicism is a big part of that culture. So I just wanted to kind of have that place down and do a little bit of detailing around it. Just kind of have another nice little landmark for the neighborhood here. And again, I think it ended up looking pretty good, pretty solid. So just gonna fence it in real quick um, with the wrought iron fence, which I've used a ton. I think it's just a nice little decorative fence that looks uh, rather pleasing to the eye compared to like a chain link fence. So when I'm doing kind of more nice detail like this and not industrial detail, I do try to utilize that as much as I can. And uh, of course it just, takes a little bit of time to kind of smooth it all together and make it look nice. And then in the back of this, we are going to add like a little graveyard for the um, actual church itself. I did want to get some more details for this. I just have the headstones right now and I do some landscaping, but I think I might come back in here and do some more like detailed landscaping with fountains or like some sculptures and stuff just to make it pop a little bit more uh, but for now you know it ends up looking pretty nice you can see me trying to look for a statue right now I unfortunately didn't have any downloaded so we'll go ahead and kind of just do some uh, natural landscaping in the background here as I struggle for another minute to try to find some sort of sculpture to work in the background um, but yeah, I ended up just using landscaping to kind of frame this area in a little bit more, just using the natural pines and stuff. Not having it grow too close over to the headstones, you know, like someone is actually coming in and upkeeping the landscaping. You want that appearance. And just in the front here, just doing some simple trees and things like that, just to, again, make it look nice and pretty. And something I always struggle with when I'm doing landscaping with big trees, like I've been doing a lot in Acadia, is making sure that you know the building itself still pops that's definitely a struggle that i've had um i think the key is just to kind of parse out your landscaping and have different patches of it rather than like big huge sections of trees and you'll kind of see i i I'd use that principle for this build as well i wanted the church to be very well visible from the road in all different directions so i just kind of do a couple different patches that aren't too intrusive to the church itself and you can still have like the pathways and stuff through it where you can still get a good view of it and of course i left the front completely open so you can see that nice big cathedral stained glass right in the front there and we're just going to finish out by finishing up the little bit of parking there so that's going to be the church and then i'm just going to finish expanding the neighborhood a little bit further past the church here but we are going to cut that out um, so the next bit of detailing here that I wanted to do, we are going to be doing some more like festival kind of deal. So I know we built a fairground in the last episode. I had a couple of different ideas for events that could be going on in Brookline. So what we're going to be doing here is first of all, obviously just building out a vanilla park. We're just going to start out by putting in our pathing and stuff. It takes me a little bit to kind of get the pathing the way I wanted it to actually look and work with the landscaping and all that. So I will cut it in just a second here so you guys don't have to watch me uh, just fiddle around with the paths themselves. But what I wanted to do was uh, this park, I wanted to have some special stuff going on in it. I got some cool props off of the workshop that really uh, kind of make this whole area pop. So what I wanted to do was actually build a like music festival. Um, again, kind of going off anecdotal experience in Boston um, at the Hatch Shell, they always have like different kinds of music festivals. I've been to like the Life is Good Festival down there. And I thought it would just be nice to have a nice little park right near our Little Italy North End section build and kind of have this cool little music festival going on in the park. And I think it ends up adding a really cool detail to it. For some reason, they are uh, considered water and sewage assets. Don't know why, but it's not a big deal. It's not affecting anything. So we're just going to start doing some paths kind of through the actual uh, fields where the stages are going to be. I just wanted to kind of mimic where people might be walking, coming through in and out of things and kind of sitting up their tents and their chairs and all that good stuff. 
Um, so you'll see in a minute, first of all, I have to add the spotlights in front, gotta make sure it's nice and lit up at nighttime. But uh, you'll see in a minute, I try to kind of make that music festival vibe by having a good amount of like, different people sitting in here and you know first of all we're putting the spotlights kind of facing right into the stages themselves too to give them a little more pop at night and we're going to just start putting chairs down and little areas for people to sit and congregate and uh you know try to try to get that nice crunchy music fest vibe we got a food we have a uh what was it a farmer's market in the other park and in this park we have a music festival so apparently just the crunchiest most hipster things are going on in every park in Brookline. Maybe that's just my personality, who knows? So just uh, adding in, like I said, the concert goers, having people kind of standing around and just the people props I've found really make the detailing work better. It's just nice to see it. Even if it's just a facade of it being interacted with, it's nice to see kind of just Sims hanging around the stuff that you build. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I do enjoy it. So. Just finishing out this other little side on the secondary stage, putting some tents down, putting some more seating and people and things like that. Again, just to make it look a little more alive, a little more built in and kind of using different tents like the event tents on the side. So maybe that's where the sound manager is. And then, you know, we have the more personal tents for the really hardcore concert goers that will not leave this park until the last chord is played of their favorite song. So uh, just kind of doing that and now we'll just add a couple of vanilla park assets just to give the park a little bit of an entertainment rating comparative to the city skyline stuff. And uh, we'll finish up just by doing some landscaping here. So trying not to overdo it with the landscape, just kind of trying to trim in different areas and kind of outline the park itself. Um, I will skip through some of it just because it took me a while, especially on the sides when you have to do really thin landscaping like this to get the undergrowth to look right and make it so there's not a ton of clipping. So I will kind of skip some of that tweaking for you guys so you don't get bored to death watching that. Um, but I did just want to kind of show my process for kind of framing in the different stages and the different parts of the park. I liked having some open areas for this park so they can do events like this and then having the other ends kind of closed in with the trees and stuff. Whereas my last park was definitely more forested than this one. This one has a lot more open space. So our last bit of detailing here is my favorite part of the build. Um, here we are going to be building out a really cool festival in our downtown main stretch of Little Italy here. So uh, this is again anecdotal experience I'm kind of working off of. I have been to the North End more times than I can count. I love Italian food and uh, Boston's North End is the place to get it. And uh, I don't even know what festival it is. It's a festival for some Catholic saint or something like that. But they have this giant festival and they'll have lights kind of strung up all over the place like this. And you know, they'll have parts of the, the city blocked off and you'll have just tons of vendors and food and games and you know, just different things for people to do and really engage in the community. And I thought that would be a cool thing to do. So using Traffic Manager, I shut down these whole roads and we're gonna put a bunch of different props down and different places for people to hang out. So we got a bunch of tables outside of the restaurants for people to eat at. We're gonna have a bunch of games and stuff that I have from some of the other builds I've been working on. And uh, the only issue is for some reason when I try to put props over the actual roadways themselves, they always end up floating. I think that's just a city skylines thing. I don't think it's any issues with my mods or anything like that. If anyone knows how to fix that, let me know. I kept trying to use move it to kind of use page down and get them to sit flush. It didn't work out. Um, but honestly, at most angles, you can't even tell that this stuff's floating. It looks fine. And uh, when you're a little bit further out, you would have no idea. So. Really what I'm just trying to do is put down different food vendors, put down a ton of different uh, places for people to, you know, interact and, you know, buy things, doing like the different market props, doing the food trucks. I'm going to come back through with like some different games and arcade games and things like that, just to try to make it look like there's a ton going on and there's a lot of fun going on. Uh, you may notice that the light strings that I put up in the beginning are not there right now. That's because I put those up first and then realized I needed to detail around them. So at this point, they're just sitting in the middle of a field on the map somewhere and I'm going to move them back in once I end up finishing all my detailing here. 
But like I said, we're just putting in different market props. We're putting in, uh, you know, things for sale. I got like some paintings and some pottery and stuff and just kind of mixing and matching and just doing a whole different smorgasbord of props here just to really make it look alive and fun. And what I really like about this build too is like, I feel like a lot of my builds only look good in the daytime or only look good at night. Uh, this one looks great in both. It's really cool to see the lights kind of lit up, but it's also cool to see all the props and all the people interacting with them. And then on the end here, we're just gonna do a little TV crew. They're taking a nice little picture of all of the different festival goers and things like that. And to finish out the build here today, of course, we are just going to put down the different people lined up for things and kind of walking through the festival itself. Um, and that is pretty much going to do it for the time lapse. So we are going to have a live play as we always do and some cinematics at the end of the build. But, you know, if you guys did enjoy the build so far, definitely hit that like button. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you're new to City Skylines, I know there's a free weekend going on right now and you're watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas for your cities. And uh, definitely subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate that as well. Trying to get the channel to grow as much as we can, right? Um, but I'm going to let the music go ahead and play out as I finish putting down all these different people here for you guys. I will see you on the other side for that live play section. Hope you enjoyed the build. Peace. Hey everybody and welcome to the live play section of today's build. So I really hope you enjoy building out this little Italy neighborhood with me. I know I had a ton of fun with it. Uh, first guys, I need to explain the moral victory I'm experiencing right now. I've spent the last probably two and a half hours trying to just get my game to reload to be able to shoot this live play. Uh, it was having a whole bunch of issues, but I was able to figure that out and get it moving. So. Let's jump into what we have built here today as we watch people walk through everything. So we have, first of all, our Little Italy neighborhood. So I did get, uh, it's the Little Italy pack right on the workshop. They have a bunch of different like restaurants and uh, like Italian groceries and things like that scattered throughout. But I decided to kind of make the neighborhood kind of spread around a little bit. And right in this main area, we have this big like festival. Um, so this is very much based off of personal experience for me. Um, I go to Boston's North End a lot and I've been there when, um, what was it? I forget the name of the festival, but they have a big festival down there all the time as I need to, I thought I shut off traffic for this area. I need to make sure I got that. But anyway, uh, they have this big festival where there's a ton of vendors and they have all the lights kind of crisscrossing through things. So. I just decided to put a bunch of different vendors in, have these lights going, put the different tables in. I probably said this during the build, but a lot of these people are floating. For some reason, I couldn't get them to actually attach to the ground when it, they're on the uh, road itself, but no biggie. So we just got a bunch of different vendors. I put like the balloon vendor, some of the market props I've been using and all that good stuff. Um, so we have a whole bunch of things going on through here. And before I jump into the rest of the build, let's just make sure I have, see all traffic is shut off, but they're still just doing it. So that's a little annoying, but whatever. Uh, then over on this side, kind of moving away, just another little neighborhood asset or part that I wanted to put in, which is like a cool little skate park right here. So, uh, you know, for people who are skaters, they can come here and do that right next to this park over here. And then we just put down some like graffiti and things. And then this is pretty cool. So this is the North End Park over here. And I decided to keep going with the festival sense and have this big, it's called Cities Fest on the workshop. And it's just a bunch of different um, like things for a music festival. And I put like chairs down and people hanging out and camping and watching the music and things like that. 
Um, they look good both at night and during the day. Uh, I really just like how this whole area looks like at night right now. It's so lit up and we got the big, you know, the baseball park and then all this cool uh, fairground over here. I just really like the way it looks at night. So that's just a nice little park right there. And then scooching on over here, we just continued the Little Italy theme kind of going down. And it wouldn't be Little Italy without a church right in front here. So we got this big old church going down. I did do some uh, different things with it. So let's go to daytime so we can just look at things during the day a little bit. So the church is here. We have like the little graveyard in back here. I need to get a statue to put in here, like a Mother Mary statue or something. And just a little park kind of stretched on through it. I think it ended up looking pretty nice though. And then, um, you know, again, just more neighborhood over here. And then we'll just go back through here just so I can show you the festival during the daytime. It still looks great even during the day. But yeah, that is the build for today, guys. So I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely leave a like down below. Help me grow the channel, get my videos out to more people. And if you are new and you're enjoying the content, definitely subscribe. I really appreciate that. Um, we'll be back next week with more builds and things like that. But we're going to jump into some cinematic shots of the build here today for you guys. I hope you enjoy those and I hope you have an awesome weekend. Peace.